Do you know why near the end of April many people wear a red poppy on the left side of their chest? If you're new in New Zealand and your answer to this question might be no, this reading will help you understand more about another public holiday in Aotearoa, the Anzac Day. You must have heard of the Great War or the First World War from 1914 to 1918, when two powers controlled the world and there was a lot of fighting between countries. On the 25th of April 1915, Australian and New Zealand soldiers landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula. They wanted to take over Constantinople, a city in Turkey. Things did not go well as they had planned. The attack went on for eight months, and in the end, they had to leave Gallipoli. A lot of soldiers died, among whom were 2,779 New Zealanders. In 1916, Anzac Day was marked for the first time with ceremonies in different cities in Aotearoa to remember those who went to Gallipoli. Now the day is also about all New Zealanders who served and are serving. Anzac Day, 25th of April, became a public holiday in 1921. The day starts with the dawn service, which takes place at the same time as the Gallipoli landing. Some usual activities include a march by returned soldiers to the local war memorial, a reading of four lines from the poem For the Fallen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. As the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The last post being played and a minute's silence. The dawn service is followed by the Anzac Parade. Some of these activities could not take place in 2020 because New Zealand was under lockdown to stop the spreading of the COVID-19. Instead, Kiwis listened to speeches and the last post on Radio NZ. Stories have it that after the Great War, red poppies grew and bloomed more beautifully than ever on battlefields. Red poppies are sold on Poppy Day, which is usually the Friday before Anzac Day. The money is used to support soldiers and their family. Wearing a red poppy on your chest is a way to show respect for the soldiers who lost their lives. Now can you answer these questions? Pause the video before you hear the answers. What happened on the 25th of April 1915? On the 25th of April 1915, Australian and New Zealand soldiers landed on the Gallipoli Peninsula. What was the result of the attack? The attack went on for eight months and in the end they had to leave Gallipoli. A lot of soldiers died. Name three activities that take place on Anzac Day every year. You can name three of the following. A dawn service. A march. A reading of four lines of the poem For the Fallen. The last post being played, a minute silence, and a parade. Why are red poppies sold on Poppy Day? The money is used to support soldiers and their families. Scan the QR codes to review the vocabulary and do a quiz to check your understanding. Please check the description below for the link to the full reading and exercises. Kia pai tera.